okay so next or oh, what you have to download is the, the uh, vmware workstation player now if you click here uh, it will not uh, basically uh, go to the correct uh, what you say portal because it uh, the vmware has been uh, taken over by broadcom so uh, there's a new link where you have to click and uh, download the uh, software for the VMware Workstation Pro. Now the uh, Workstation player has been, uh, I mean, discontinued. So first of all, you need to log in. Before that, if you don't have a, a login here, you can just register and uh, enter your uh, email ID, and you will get a, a code, authentication code. Enter that and enter the further details, and then create your account here and then log in with the account Okay, seems that has taken the password. So I'll just log in. Never and then I'll do it later. Okay, cool. Now I'll just close this and I'll copy and paste the link that I want you to uh, basically go to. And obviously, it is going to ask you to log in, so I'll use the new one. Okay, once I'm logged in, so I will be able to see this screen, and you can see multiple options here. Now, you can go for the uh, Workstation Pro 17 personal use window, and I'll click the latest version. And then I would have a I agree checkbox somewhere here. Yeah, I agree. Click on that and click this cloud download thing and verification per proceed. Here you would have to enter certain details, so extra details like uh, the address, something like this. You just enter, right? Uh, India and the postal okay then submit great once that is done again click on the download button and this download should start now uh, and i think yeah this is so this download has started and this is around 600 M M mb so we'll wait for this to uh, download right and then we can go ahead and install this so i'll just fast fast forward this video okay so it has been downloaded so i can go to my downloads basically here i'm already there go into the folder and i should see this is there so i'll double click on this say yes to install okay and click on next i accept next and next don't want to join and don't want to check uh and then next 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 install okay so that's all you have to do for the visit now we'll wait for the application to be installed 
to on the system basically so i've seen a lot of people not able to download this because the old uh, link is not working and uh, yeah people don't know how to basically uh, download these uh, setup right so let's wait for the virtual network drivers to be installed now you should see just make sure go here and say run this and you should see couple of vm nets being created here okay the yes so you can see this one if this is not happening then you have to basically uh, go in the virtual network edit i'll show you so once you install this right you should see couple of a uh, virtual uh, these uh, adapters being created here vmnet 1 8 and finish okay so these two are created here uh, so that's good now you can run the workstation pro here nice you can use this for the personal use click on this and finish okay uh, and then finish nice right so see so you can use this for your personal use finally now you can go here you can uh, edit and go to virtual network editor in case you don't see those uh, what do you say uh, adapters here right don't see those adapters here you have to come to this and click on change settings and then basically do a reset okay do a reset of the uh, restore defaults of network edit ad adapter okay we can do it like this so that all these uh, i mean uh, adapters are removed and installed reinstalled again okay so make sure in case you face any connectivity issues also this will solve your issue and let's wait for the vm nets to be installed back again and if you want to add more you can add from here as well always you can come here and add the vm net adapters here okay you can add a network here cvm net to add then vm net 3 you can add like this and also you can define the dhcp uh, subnet range here now you can enable and disable DHCP also for that particular VM net, but uh, that's okay. Click apply and then okay. As you can see, now I have basically uh, one, two, three VM nets, and then you have VM net zero and VM net eight. VM net zero is basically for the bridge one, so yeah. Okay, so that's great. Let's close this.